This is a video response to the Drew Puka. I am not in America and I have never been taught in America, but I believe the Drew Puka did say anywhere, so hopefully it's good enough. I would probably say there are two teachers and it's probably to the most recent that I liked the very best that really inspired me. And since I really like stories and storytelling, they are both in the literature field. It was a Danish teacher and an English teacher. I'm going to start by the things where they're the same, so I don't have to repeat myself. Both women, both middle-aged, both quite passionate about their particular field. The Danish teacher is very disciplined and very, some call her strict, but she just really wanted to make sure that we did get everything done. You know, there's a certain amount that you have to have read, that you have to have processed or analyzed, and she wanted to make sure that we got through it all. And, you know, people would complain, oh, she's the worst teacher. But when you actually got to the exam, you were ready, you know? She really, she worked so hard that she actually temporarily had to leave the class because of stress, you know? And she still came back before we had to go to the exams and, you know, worked really hard to make sure that, you know, because the other teachers were kind of not as disciplined and she still managed to make us quite prepared for the final exams. Now the other was my English teacher and she was she maybe has more of a sense of humor than the Danish teacher and is more relaxed in general. She really made an effort to choose interesting stories when she could. I could not tell you how many stories we had to read in that one year. And she, one of the first things she said was, we're going to have to work hard because there's, there is this amount, this is the highest level here, so yeah, you have to read this amount, period. Dozens, dozens of texts, and she really made an effort to make as many of them as possible interesting. You know, even the non-fiction ones, even, yeah, and you know, you remember it. I, I remember many of these texts and, you know, was introduced to a couple of new authors. It reignited my passion for, you know, the for civil rights, because we read about, you know, the sit-down strikes in you know, the 60s and, yeah. Both of these teachers just really made me fall in love with stories and storytelling all over again. And I always have been, so, but, you know, yeah, if it weren't for them, I'd have read a lot less of these very interesting authors and stories, and I really... That would really have been a loss.